We're over here at the conflict corner. I'm gonna teach you how to use this conflict corner so that you can help resolve whatever problems you have with anybody else. And this conflict corner also, if you take these steps, you can use them outside of the gym and use them anywhere else. So the reason why you would use this conflict corner is because maybe somebody had, somebody did something to you, they, maybe they accidentally hit you or bumped into you or they're not playing the game the right way. And if you have a problem with that, rather than coming to me or Coach Clapp to talk about it, then you can grab that person. And if you say, hey, Billy, come over with me to the conflict corner, they have to come with you. And then this tells you how to resolve that problem. And hopefully by the end of it, you two have come to some kind of uh, resolution that you'll be able to go back out and play and not worry about it anymore. So Coach Clapp and I are going to demonstrate how to do this for you. Coach Clapp has a problem. I did something. He's going to get his chance to explain what it is. Step number one says hands out, palms facing up. That way we are nice and open to receiving whatever problem is that we have. If we stand with our arms crossed, we're not really open to what's going on. First step, hands out, palms facing up. Number two is explain the problem. Coach Clapp's the one that had the problem with me. He called me over, so he's going to explain what the problem is. You pushed me and hit me with the ball in, the, in my face. You aren't supposed to do it like that. All right, so that was the problem there. Step three, listen to each other. Now I get my chance to tell him what actually happened or what I see that happened because maybe I didn't do it on purpose. Oh, I'm sorry, Coach Clapp. When I was just throwing the ball, my aim is really bad. I didn't mean to hit you. It was just an accident, I promise. So he got to hear my side of the story. Now, step four, we brainstorm a solution together. Maybe he can start and he can tell me how we can avoid that happening again. Please be careful next time. Okay, I can do that. I, I, I'll work on my accuracy and I'll try to take better control of my aim. So we both came up with a solution there. Then number, uh, step five is to shake hands. That way we're both good with each other. And then number six, as we leave, we give each other a compliment. So Coach Clapp would go first. He has a problem with me, so compliment. I like your shirt. Thank you. And I appreciate that you took me over here and helped me out. And maybe we can work together to be a, I can to throw better. Well, that'd be good. All right, there you go. We worked out a problem, gave our compliments, and now we're ready to go back out and play again. Follow these rules up here, and you too can have the same outcome. Let me make sure that I give credit where credit is due. I did not come up with this conflict corner. I got that from the PE specialist. I will link his video down in the description, but he's the one who came up with this idea, or at least that's where I got it from. And I just made this video just for me and my students so they could see me showing them how to do this. Thank you, PE specialist.